Great news! B version 3 beta is out. I know your palms are itching just like mine, and I know you and I want to get started with it right away. And you know what? I really want to get my hands dirty with the composition API and all the new stuff in version 3. So to get started, we are going to actually create a V2 application. Yes, that's how it works. Let's work off of our V2 apps. We're going to upgrade them to version 3. You probably have Vue CLI installed. If you don't, let's install it. npm g install Vue CLI. Now that we have the Vue CLI, let's create a new application. It's Vue Create, and I'm going to call it Hello Vue 3. Hello. I'm going to power through all the settings and I'm just going to use the default because I want to get started. Okay, so one thing that I want to do before installing v3 is running the build. I want to see how v3 compares to v2. So let's just build this uh, version 2 Hello World application. Okay, just one mental note. The uh, vendor's chunk is 31.92 kilobytes. Bonus points if I can remember that by the time we build version 3. Can you remember that? Okay, and here's the trick. Now we are adding view next. So using the CLI, I'm adding view, add view next. Now this is the entire trick and the CLI or the view next plugin is going to do everything for me. Okay, this is a very fast process. And while I'm in the CLI, I want to build this version 3. I know you want to see the differences, but I'm going to forget that number. It was um, 31.92, I think. So let's build this and we'll see how it differs. And the vendor chunk is what I'm looking to see. Oh, 29.75, awesome. We get new features at less the size. Great job, Vue team. We are getting to the point where we are going to show what we have in this application. Let's open this in our IDE, and I'm using VS Code. I don't know what you're using. So let's open this up. Okay, I already see some differences. So I'm going to the source control tab. Oh, we can now bootstrap an application in just two or three lines of code. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Let's see what changed in package JSON. Okay, so we only have like four or five different changes. View went up to three beta one and we have small little changes in view template compiler and some ESLint plugins, but that's it. As simple as it is. Let me start this uh, new Hello World application. Now remember, only main.js has changed. So the old code, the old Hello World script is the same. We just ported it from v2. So I don't expect anything to change. Let's take a look. Well, hello. Everything is the same. Now that's good. Better API and smaller framework footprint. That's great news. Okay, I promised that I was going to show you how to install Vue 3, but I want to take this an extra mile. Uh, I'm really itching to see how fragments work. And that's a very simple API to show. It's a, just a minor change in the code, and I kind of want to go there and do that. So, you know, why don't we try? You want to try? Let's go. So I'll go into the app view, and I'm only going to add one thing. So Fragments, let's remember what that is. Uh, similar to React, fragments allow you to not have to have a single root node. So right now in the template, we have one div layer and it's the root of this component. Now with fragments, single root is no longer required. All right, so I'm gonna add, let's say H1, and I'm gonna say hello. View three developers. All right. Okay, VS Code doesn't like that. Hmm. Oh, the template root requires exactly one element. 
how inconvenient. But hey, these dev tools are not updated yet for Vue 3. That's coming along, you know, maybe tomorrow or the day after. Take a look, maybe it's already there, but I did that in history. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm gonna open it in the browser. Oh, it's here. Hello, Vue 3 developers. Now let me move this browser to the right and my code to the left. All right, now it's clear. Hello, Vue 3 developers. Wow, I don't need that single root anymore. If I delete this, it's out. I, I'm gonna add it again and it's in. Yes, this is awesome. All right, I hope you liked this uh, Vue 3 intro. Uh, go ahead and give it a try. I know I'm gonna be doing that. The next thing I'm gonna be working with is the composition API. And you know what? I've already done some work with it. It's phenomenal. If you haven't, it's really something to be excited about. Now, my next video on Vue 3 is going to be exactly about composition. I'm gonna be creating a simple calculator and I'm gonna show you a few ways to use composition API and to see how it makes our lives not just easier, but I wanna say more beautiful. It's really amazing to work with the Composition API. All right, stay tuned, stay excited by Vue 3, and come see me in the next episode on Vue 3 Composition. All right, give it a go.